Greetings to all. In this lesson we, we will analyze the principles of operation of local variables in the game. We will try to create the simplest counter of jumps and display them to the console. In general, a local variable is essentially any value that you set in your scripts. To start let's create a scene in which we will work. To do this, click on our profile, then my projects, now we need to add a project in which our game will be. Press projects and here we set the name, which our project will have. Let's name it the lesson project. Click create project and now we have the option to click on add scene button. Click here and select the second point. Our project is ready. Here is what it looks like. Manage you you can WASD in the scene. Come on and turn on the mouse button. Our script represents a sequence of blocks, so we don't need to know the language. First, we will create a script in which we will write our code, which will count the number of jumps in the game. For this press the asset button. Here are the game assets. Most of them are by default. They are installed by the engine. Because we want to create a script we need to select the script section. Let's get it let's open. All these scripts, do not pay attention to their attention, we will not use them. And we just create our own script. For we'll press it add assets and select the script here. Here is our script appeared. Here we can ask his name. Let's call it counter. Well, there is a counter great name for him gave and it immediately changed in the list scripts, it is built alphabetically. I mean, she got to the top. Next step by step press edit to open our script. Here we open the canvas on which we will work. To start we need to make sure that our script worked while jumping. To install blocks you need to click on add note button. Here you can either from the list or by entering the desired value to find the block. Because we need an event section. I'll write it down like this and here it is first here. Select the action up button. That is the beginning of our action. And select jump from the list i.e. this block will run subsequent script every time the player will start the jump. Then let's create a variable in the left menu. And now choose the type of variable which we want to create. Since our jumps it's a number. That is, we will add a variable plus one for each jump. This is the number. Press. Let's name it our variable. Let her be called coin. Default value will be equal to zero. So let's leave it. Next action we need to drag this block right on the field and here we select set. That there we will be at every jump in fact sets the value of our variable again. The next step I want to do so that essentially to my variable added plus one digit. For this open the context menu with a right click. In the first section, now select the number plus. That is, we will essentially just put together numbers. Then we again use a variable. And since we want to add to the old value number one to do this, drag it again and this time choose get. To start link the event block to the setup block variable. That is, just squeeze and stretch. Great. We connected the first two blocks. Then I extend the connection. We tied our blocks. The next step is to do self summation. That is, in essence, we will return to the old value of the coin and add the number one. Write it here. Stretch the link to field B. That is, we will sum the old value with the number one and we will write this result in our variable. Congratulations to our counter jump ready. It remains only to withdraw value to the console to check the state of our variable. For this one more block is needed which will be responsible for what will display our message to the console. Search for this write a block. Choose it. That's how big he is. Carry out communication action to after the installation variable, our message was displayed in the console. Because the text in the console is an essence string value, i.e. text. First, we need to convert our number to text. To do this, take another block. He called number to string. Let's take it here. All. Just making connections between ports of the same color. And here. It is necessary to indicate the value of our variable. Pull out the get block again let's extend the connection. Congratulations to our script essentially ready. Let's launch it. Let's close the script. To make our script work must be tied to some object in the scene. Cause now it's just a file in the system that does not work. Let's make it work to select a panel on the stage. That is this one platform in the menu on the right. We can see a bunch of fields that are responsible for its characteristics and modification. Namely, modifications that will be useful. Press the plus sign here and chooses a script. Press the button select script and select the script here that we just created. Ready. Now to start our game click on the preview scene and our game starts. Let's open the console to see the value of each jump. The value of the variable is increased by 1. That is exactly what we plan to do. 
On this first, the lesson is over. Thank you for watching. Good luck.